So what exactly is gene therapy? First, let's start with the basics. The majority of our body's genetic information is stored in 23 paired chromosomes inside the nucleus of our cells. Each chromosome is made up of DNA that stores information to determine our unique characteristics. Specific sections of DNA are called genes. As far as we know, humans have between 20,000 and 25,000 genes. Usually, a person has two copies of each gene, one copy passed along from each biological parent. Genes provide the instructions on how to make proteins. Proteins play an important role in how our body functions. And a small change to the DNA within our genes can alter how proteins work, which can then affect how a person breathes, walks, or digests food. To better understand how genes change, here's Dr. Hans Peter Kim. Gene variants, which are genetic changes, happen to everyone and occur as cells age or are exposed to certain chemical or environmental factors. These gene variants can also be passed along from parents. Cells often recognize these genetic changes and repair them. Other times, they can cause a disease or disorder and treatment is needed. That's where gene therapy aims to help, by addressing the underlying cause of disease. If genes are like the blueprint to our body, gene therapy can fill in missing parts or correct errors in the drawings. Gene therapy is the use of genetic material to treat or prevent disease. The genetic material used or targeted is DNA or RNA. DNA stores our genetic information, whereas RNA is a modified copy of that information needed for the cells to build the correct protein. In gene therapy, the genetic material is transferred to the cells and then changes how proteins are produced by the cell. It can reduce levels of certain disease-causing proteins, increase production of working proteins, or even produce new or modified proteins within the cell. The genetic material needs help to get where it needs to go, like being wrapped in a package with an address label. This package delivering the genetic material is known as a vector. Typically, viruses are used as vectors because they've evolved to be very good at getting into cells. But in this case, scientists use this same ability to deliver the new therapeutic genetic material into the cell. Any disease-causing part of a virus is removed, allowing it to enter the cell without making a person sick. All vectors are tested many times for safety prior to being used in humans. There are two main ways to give gene therapy in vivo and ex vivo. In vivo gene therapy means the gene is delivered directly into the person, such as through an injection. Ex vivo gene therapy removes the person's own cells and delivers the gene to these cells outside the body. These modified cells are then returned to the person. Deciding the right approach depends on the best way to target the disease. There are still many challenges to overcome for those seeking gene therapy as potential treatment options. One challenge is time. It's a lengthy process to test potential treatments in clinical trials and then undergo the FDA approval process. But advances in gene therapy research allow us to better understand how we could treat and hopefully someday prevent rare and debilitating diseases. For more information and resources about gene therapy and how it works, go to patienteducation.asgct.org.